getting more people back to playing sports and exercising. $20 million will be available to facilitate bringing back events like those involving mass participation. For sports such as triathlon and cycling, organizers can apply for up to $50,000 in funds, with up to 3,000 physically taking part per event. It can also include virtual participation. Sport SG is looking to support 40 such events or festivals over the year. The authorities also want to increase community participation in leagues and competitions, for example. These include athletics, badminton and canoeing for people of all ages. Plus, facilities and spaces could be converted so that people can play sports like table tennis, basketball or work out in an outdoor gym. Like arts, sports is a social glue that brings us together as we cheer on our athletes fighting hard for Singapore or as we develop friendships by simply engaging in a game or two on the field or on the court. We hope that these measures will encourage Singaporeans to resume sporting and wellness activities safely. There will be more sports programs aimed at children and youth in public rental housing. For example, football's Saturday Night Lights will be rolled out in Queenstown and four other towns under a community link project. Such programs will be expanded to all 21 Comlink towns. And the aim is to reach 28,000 children and youths across 300 public rental housing blocks by 2027.